Yeah, Keenan and Alicia, the projects that are already underway are already fully funded. The bids on those usually come in ahead of time, but it's the road projects that are planning into the future. Well, those are the ones that are going to get a little bit tricky. Between the gas prices and the road construction, well, there's a word to describe it. What's it like dealing with both? Chaotic, in one word. Edward Hill lives near Orchard Lake and 13 Mile, where the northbound lanes of Orchard Lake are currently closed. He worries not only about how high gas prices will impact his wallet, but the impact on future projects like this one. Do you worry how the high gas prices, inflation could impact the roads moving forward as far as funding projects to fix the roads? Definitely. Um, as far as the funding the roads, I know they're trying to be strategic and finding different ways to pay for roads. They've been doing it for years. We're seeing uh, costs going up anywhere from 10 to 30 percent. Um, it's not just fuel prices, it's all the materials, it's labor, it's everything, but that's certainly one of the factors. Craig Bryson works for the Road Commission of Oakland County. He says that 10 to 30 percent on future projects is millions, not to mention the fuel budget adding to the pain in the budget. We are estimating right now, just, just for our own fuel use, 1.2 million more next year, which uh, in, in other terms is the equivalent of doing about three and a half miles of road resurfacing that we won't be able to do next year. As for the Michigan Department of Transportation, I'm told the higher costs will have to be taken into account when planning future projects. As for less projects on the table in the future, I'm told only time will tell. MDOT referred me to MIDA, or the Michigan Infrastructure and Transportation Association, a membership-based organization representing contractors across the state. They have brought concerns to me saying that the, the continued escalation of fuel and, and, for that matter, other materials is a concern. Those high prices go back into the price of future projects with how much contractors charge to fix the roads. Ultimately, it means that as these prices increase and state and local budgets are what they are, it'll mean that we'll, we'll be buying, you know, you'll be building less due to those inflationary costs. Now, MDOT says the largest factor driving up the cost has been the long history of neglect for long-term fixes on our roads. In 2010, the average cost of a road project was around $1.4 million. This year, the average is $3.2 million, a jump of more than 125% in costs. That, along with the high gas prices, inflation on material, and labor costs makes the road ahead a difficult one when it comes to getting fixes for drivers. So yeah. it's difficult. And we don't know when these prices are coming down. Gas prices are up for a while. And you think of the uh, petroleum that goes into the road products, mm -hmm. right? So it's not just running the big machines. The actual material itself is much more expensive. It's everything, really. I mean, or originally we had kind of thought about doing this story with gas prices, but the more that I kept digging, it was like it's, it's the gas prices. It's the inflation. It's the labor. It's, it's all of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's hard to just focus on one mm -hmm. thing when there's so many factors yeah. that MDOT and these counties are facing. Well, it's one complicated. Thing, it one is. thing won't change. We still need to fix the roads. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we do. Thank you, Allie, for that report.